welcome to BIM Parametrics and this is Mohammad Sharuk and in today's video we will see uh, how we can export our Revit model which is already having the georeferencing to a uh, IFC file now we need to make sure that the IFC file which is going to be exported should be have also should be also properly georeferenced and once it is georeferenced then we will see we'll try to open this model over the map and see whether the location of the parcel drawing which uh, which is uh, we have seen in the previous video and the mo location of this model exported through IFC is same or not now to start with since uh, you can see uh, if you have seen the last video uh, we have already uh, you referenced our model so just we will just make a make sure that okay you can check it here that the model is already you referenced okay we have the correct northing and the easting value so let me delete this now next is uh, to export this into IFC now make uh, to just to make a note that right now I am exporting this file as a IFC to only make sure uh, whether our model is properly georeferenced or not okay for other uh, export details okay for a proper uh, export of the IFC I will make another video now so the first step in exporting an IFC is I will go to the file We'll click on export and then we go to IFC now next you will see uh, the you will get a I export IFC dialog box with the file name export setup IFC version coordinate base and so on now file name will be I'll be saving it somewhere here so I have already one IFC file here let me delete this one okay so this will be the uh, uh, folder where I'm going to save it now export setup right now you will see IFC version is IFC 2x3 in my case I want to export this into a higher level of IFC that is IFC 4 so for this what I'm going to do I will go and change the setup option here so click on modify setup and then I am going to create a new setup here and we can just uh, name it uh, anything for example IFC 4 okay that's it once done uh, you will see uh, there are a lot of uh, different tabs present here so in the we, we are, uh, for this uh, tutorial we are not going to make m any changes uh, much of the changes here so the only changes I'm going to change uh, do is the IFC version uh, where it is showing IFC 2x3 so I'll just go and select IFC 4 reference view next I'm going to keep the remaining uh, tabs as it is okay now the very important is for the georeferencing for example if I just click OK and export this model the ex IFC will be convert the model will be converted to IFC and it will export properly there will be no issues but the it will be missing the georeference information means it will not be in the proper coordinates okay but what we want is we our model should be in proper coordinates for this case okay I will click on the ge geographic uh, reference okay my project site will be default site coordinate base I will use as the project base point and then EPSG code now what is EPSG code EPSG code uh, refers to uh, like uh, uh, this is a European Petroleum Survey Group okay so for each uh, specific location like for each country uh, we have a specific code now for since this model is actually or or this parcel is currently present in Kingdom of Bahrain okay and it's somewhere here in this uh, one of this artif artificial island okay so and the EPSG code for Bahrain is the 32639 so I'm just going to put this value 32639 now once this is done I will just click on overwrite now you see it will automatically uh, gather the datum uh, values and easting and northing values okay and you can see this is the angle from the true north so once uh, done click OK and then I will just click on export so it will just take a couple of seconds and it will export so the export has been done now let me go back to assign coordinates folder and then here we have our project georef.ifc file it's uh, now you will see uh, there is a very good uh, reduction in the size okay so this is one of the benefit of using IFC but anyways we will talk this in some other uh, tutorial now the next is I want to open this uh, IFC file and want to make sure of two things first is whether it is properly georeferenced second is whether it is coming on the uh, proper location so for this I'll go to my internet browser and then I'll type georef there is a site so I'll just 
Geo X uh, IFC GRF okay sorry now once this website will open you will see it will ask you to upload the IFC file so let me click here and then you see we have the project GRF.IFC I will select this and open now if it is properly georeferenced you will find that it's uh, it is mentioning mentioning in the above the header as ifc file is georeferenced so this confirms that the file which is exported is properly georeferenced in revit from revit now next is i need to see it on the map okay so let's see whether it is coming on the proper location or not now if i show you on google earth okay our parcel location is somewhere here okay you can just make sure uh, if i show you from the far satellite view okay it's somewhere here on the top so let's go and check in this so i'll click on show on map now all right i guess it is perfectly assigned yeah so now you can see our model is properly georeferenced and it is sitting on the exact location as of the parcel data so this is your ifc file and it is properly geolocated in the uh, map okay so i hope uh, you find this uh, tutorial useful thank you very much